trying to keep you calm. Max, that was a video I watched. Oh. Ugh. I don't know when that gets easier. That's not in the bucket. Ooh. Disclaimer. Don't watch this. You don't want to see animals being dispatched. So, I don't understand what to do with it. It's a real part of um, where our food comes from, which was living things. So, there's your warning. Also, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. So, step one. You, uh, hold it. And you cut off its head. And it's flutters and, and twitches around, so it's real good if you have a nice hold on the wings. Well, that happens for about 30 seconds. And then after you've gone through that pleasantness, step two is to cut off the wings by uh, just pull them up and cut right against the body pretty much is where I'm going. Hopefully that's right. And then step three is the legs. You want to cut kind of where the knees are, which is right where this, uh, the scales meet the feathers. These scissors, yes, are the bomb diggity. You don't need to struggle more than you have to with this. And then um, shuffle or add it to the pile. Okay, so I just finished the last quail. So, tougher people than me were just using their bare hands and pulling apart the skin at the breast and then just peeling it off. I'm not ready for that. It's two. Okay, so I kind of like held it with my thumbs, pulled a little bit, then used the scissors. So now it is peeling pretty easily. In case you're interested, I'm just pulling up the skin, making it cut because it's easier than wrestling with it for me personally. And then go ahead and getting under there and pulling. Oh god, it's warm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then one guy was saying, uh, why did I want to do this? Oh! 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 Maybe my mommy will only get me to not be a sissy or something. Helpful. Something about you just you just keep peeling back the skin, and it's supposed to be easy until you get down by the tail. Ooh. And then you just un pull its little legs like they're coming out of pants. And voila, there you go. It's not happening here. I don't like that looks gross. Oh, there's his little leg that's coming out of pants. Look. You don't want to see that. Do you want to see it? Um but what has been working, you just kinda like slide the knee forward. Ow. And pull it through. Oh, there you go. Oh. Down both sides of the spine. I just pulled the whole spine back. We got some of the intestines with it. In here, are these bright pink, you can see them on the sides. Those are the lungs. You have to really kind of scrape those out. Right here in the center, we have his heart. And I'm just gonna sweep everything out. And then what I've been doing is just taking my scissors once I get everything pretty much fluffed out and cutting across the base of the tail. So, we got two more to do. So. I was just cutting down the spine and I'm 100% pretty sure I just like hit an egg yolk. That's freaking weird. Oh my God. Oh, I just made it lay an egg. 
I'm not joking. I just pushed it. Really interesting, too, that apparently they're completely whitish and the spots come at some other point. But yeah, I just like pressed down here and it just popped out. Much better. Okay, so I finished. I'm gonna rinse these outside to get, get the feathers off. Um, then I'll probably take them inside, rinse them one more time with a little jet uh, to get all the blood, any more feathers, um, last minute stuff off. And then I guess I'm gonna have to try to find my vacuum sealer. Okay, hey, meet y'all inside. <laughs>